All right, everyone, welcome to the police hostage negotiating training. Today we are going to be covering several things that will train you to be able to be a hostage negotiator. All right, just to be aware that you guys will not earn any tags or anything of the sort. So if you feel like you are, then you can leave right now. All right, so basically this is how this is going to work. All right, if you guys start acting stupid and getting immature, you will be kicked and you won't be allowed back if we ever do this in the future. Do you guys understand? Please say yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you guys very much. All right. I want this to go very smoothly. This is probably going to be an hour, and if it if this prolongs, it might take two. Hopefully, it doesn't go that long. Hopefully, it's just an hour. Okay. So basically, um, I'm your instructor. My name is Noah. You guys can call me Noah. It doesn't really matter. That's my name. So first of all, I'm just going to give you guys a quick lecture on basic stuff. What we're going over. We're going to be doing a scenario for a certain part, which means that we're going to travel to a house. Doesn't really matter what house, okay? Any house, it doesn't really matter. At least it has a, a roof and a door. It's fine, okay? So basically, what's going to be going on is that when we do the scenario, the civilian that I tell is going to be going up there. All right, he's going to be taking a hostage, okay? The officer that I choose will have one minute to talk him down. If he fails to, the, I'm sorry, the uh, hostage taker will tase him. We're not going to use, they not, they're not going to be able to use lethal force. They can tase a person only, okay? And then you'll be able to say, then you lost, all right? Do these civilians understand? Say yes if you do. Yep. All right, thank you guys very much. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to give you guys a quick lecture on the basics, okay? Police negotiation is very complicated. It might not seem like it, but it is very complicated. What you need to do, you need to stay calm at all times, okay? If you start getting pissed off or start getting hyper, they're going to realize that, okay? So you need to stay calm at all times and be able to talk to them very calmly because if you can't, then the hostage is in danger, okay? You, what Your main goal is to be able to build a relationship with that person, okay? To be able to build a relationship with the hostage taker, to know that you're there, to, he's going to trust you, okay? If anyone's ever seen me roleplay previously, that's what I've done. You know, I've been, I've built a relationship with some of the suspects to where they, they trust me, and you know. And when I say I pro basically as a hostage negotiator, you never want to promise, okay? Because if you, you can't guarantee them anything. Because if something turns around and gets really bad, y y you're not ready to deal with that situation, okay? You're just not ready, okay? Because if they say, no, we're not giving it to them, and you say, hey, I'm sorry, I promised you, but we can't do it now. I apologize to you for that. We, we, I, I just can't help you. You know, you understand that. That person is not going to trust you anymore, and they're possibly going to kill the hostage. So you you really got to keep the situation under control. There's certain time time you never tell them they're wrong. Okay, and this is the reason why. If you tell someone they're wrong, they're gonna basically they're gonna flip out. They're gonna be like, "Well, you're telling me you're wrong. I'm wrong." Basically, that's what's going to happen. They will flip out. Okay, I've had it happen in the four when I was in a GTA community, and it's not very fun. Okay, so they you never. Rule number one, don't promise them anything. Rule number two, don't tell them they're wrong, all right? Everything they're saying is number one. What they're saying is very important, okay? So you need to listen. A good way to let them know that you're listening is to repeat back what they said. So if they say, they say, I want a million dollars, you'll be like, okay, a million dollars, I'll talk to my supervisor and see if we can get that done. They want, they want you to know. They want you to know that you know what they're saying. They, they need you guys to know that you have the situation under control and that you're listening to them. Because if you're not listening to them, they're, they're not going to listen to you, okay? They're basically going to do what they want. Basically, they're the people in charge, okay? They're the ones calling the shots, okay? Because they have a gun to someone's head. They're the one that's in charge. They're the ones going to call the shots. The thing is, is that they're hey, only going to call the shots for a certain amount of time. Okay, there's a certain situation when you're the one that needs to take charge and decide whether that this person needs to take legal action because you get to a point when you're negotiating that you you need to figure out that is this person going to be able to talk down or is it a lost cause because if it turns out that it's a lost cause then you have to send in the SWAT team or the police department or the sniper. All right, even though you feel like you build a relationship with this person, you need to understand that this person is trying to kill somebody, okay, and you need to neutralize them. You need to get the hostage away from that person into the safe hands of the police, basically, okay, because our job as police officers is to protect and to serve. We're not, we're not here to drive around, shoot and pull people over for no reason and tase them, okay? Our main goal is to be able to be police officers and train and, and basically 
and control the civilians to a point when they're making good decisions in their gameplay, okay? So that's basically what's going on. You, when you're a hostage negotiator, you need to be very mature even outside of being a hostage negotiator, alright? Because if you're acting like an idiot and killing people when you're not a negotiator and when a negotiation rises up with that person, they're not going to trust you. They're going to think you're just b full of crap or shit, you know what I mean? They're not going to listen to you. You need to you need to let them listen to you. All right, you guys need to be very mature at all times. All right. So if they say something stupid, don't tell them it. they're okay. saying something stupid. You need basically when you arrive on a scene, you're taking charge. Okay. Basically, if if you have the skill set and ability to be able to talk someone down, okay, you need to use that ability to be able to do it yourself. Okay, that's very important. All right, because if you if you feel that you're in capable hands of handling someone that has a life in their hands, you know that you you're more prepared to handle the situation. Okay, so you know that's that's very important. Also, another good thing is psychological profiling. Okay, you can tell by the, how the person's walking around in the game if they're looking out windows, if they're closing doors, if they're closing uh, wooden windows. You can tell what they're doing. All right, if they're acting kind of nonchalant and chill back, you know that you can kind of push a little bit more other thing is is if they're like if they're like okay I want a million dollars right now basically what you're gonna say to them is you're gonna be like okay I'll talk to my supervisor and see what I can do but I need you to show me some good faith and do something for me the reason that you're doing that okay is to be able to show them okay you need to be you need to get something out of them okay you're not just gonna be sitting there complying with their demands if you guys don't get something in return all right so you could say okay if I do this for you I can maybe move the barriers back a little bit I can talk to my sergeant okay but you got to release a hostage you know basically be friendly with them be like okay hey bud yeah I'm here to help you whatever you need I'm very concerned about you and you getting out of here alive too because I know you're a good guy that got into a bad situation okay Basically, you need to talk to that person and make them understand that you're there for them. You're going to be their friend in this situation because they're not just doing this out of the blue probably. There's something that probably aggravated them to do so. Okay, like previous in a role play like I think two days ago or a day ago, uh, somebody decided that they wanted to kill off all the police officers because of an arrest. They got arrested or something like that. And they decided to go into the civilian spawn with a machine gun or sniper rifle and start killing people. Okay, and that's basically what they did. So you need to listen to what they said. If they're doing this because of the police, you know, you could be like, "Oh yeah, I know how you're feeling." Okay, th th this has happened to me before. You know, you need to be truthful with them. Do not lie to them. Okay, if they're like, if they're, like, we want one billion dollars. Okay, well that that's a little bit too much. They're like, "Oh, we want twenty five hundred thousand dollars." Okay, that's a lot of money. Okay, in the game, it's really difficult to get money, so the police might not. Yeah. <laughs> might not always be able to supply them with the money, but you're not going to tell them, oh yeah, we're not giving you the money. You do not do that under any circumstances because when you do that, they have nothing to lose. They're like, okay, we're not getting any money out of this. We're going to die anyway, so why don't we take some people with us? You know what I mean? That will happen, okay? And I don't want to see that happen. So basically what you need to do, okay, is you need to be like, okay, I can see what I can do. All right, but I'm not promising you anything, Okay. A situation when you might promise someone something is, you know, th you never not promise them something because if, if they say, I will shoot this person in the face in five seconds if you don't promise to bring me my money, you promise that person you'll bring them the money, okay? Because this probably what will end up happening is that a SWAT team or the police department will raid them and take them down, okay? Because you do not want to end the civilian's life before the negotiation even gets started. Because previously in GTA roleplay, the people have admitted to me that I kind of talked them down and they actually felt something like, whoa, what am I doing? You know, it seems kind of cheesy or stupid, but it, people do have emotions even when you're playing a video game. Because when you're in a video game with a gun shooting people, you kind of feel something a little bit. I don't know if you guys do, but they did. So that that's them. Okay, so I think I've been lecturing on quite a lot. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing now is I want – we don't need all these cars. <laughs> okay. This is a lot of vehicles. So how about we pair up two to two? Two people in a vehicle. All right, let's do that now. And we're, I'm gonna... we're in a group already. What was that? Uh, me and Warlock Sparks are already in a group together. All right. Uh, so anybody that has their own vehicle, get out of it and get into another person's vehicle. 
All right, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you guys. I, I want to thank you guys so far for being very quiet and listening to me. That's very nice of you. I thank you guys for that. Yeah, very good. Pez, uh, Pez, are you nearby? Is, yeah. That's, all right, good. Oh, look at Rainbow. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. If it was like two cops trying to negotiate with one person, would that intimidate the hostage taker anymore? Uh, you never have two hostage negotiators, ever. If you feel you only need one hostage negotiator on the scene, because if there are two, there, I, I mean, they're not gonna trust two people. They might trust one person, but that's even a stretch, okay? Because yeah. they don't really know what's going on. You know what I mean? And remember, if you'd like to sign up for TCG, the link is in the description below.